Maybe our position is a little bit more sophisticated in this regard compared to the other European countries. Um, although we are generally against war and generally we are in favor of uh, peaceful uh, solutions of all conflicts, but we understand that um, in this case um, uh, we have two options. Uh, whether the Turkish government um, manages the situation uh, in a security belt in Syria or they open the gates um, for the migrants uh, towards Europe. And if Turkey opens the gates uh, for the migrants towards Europe, then the first physical barrier to stop them is located at the southern border of Hungary. And um, we understand that the Turkish government uh, would like to resettle uh, refugees and migrants from Syria uh, uh, back uh, to their home country. And in order to do so, uh, some secure circumstances um, uh, should be um, provided. Look, um, we understand the, um, the approach and uh, we hope that uh, this conflict is not going to be escalated and we hope that Turkey is not opening the gate uh, for the migrants towards Europe. Actually, we would like to uh, draw the attention of the uh, fellow EU member states to the fact that there are four million uh, migrants, refugees, um, staying on the territory of Turkey. And if these migrants are allowed to come to Europe, that would uh, put enormous challenges uh, on us, maybe some unmanageable challenges and uh, a very, very serious security challenges as well. So the number one interest of ours is um, that Turkey does not open the gates for the migrants uh, towards uh, Europe. And generally speaking, our policy uh, is that uh, migration is not a fundamental human right. But everybody has the right to have a safe and secure life at home. So we support those uh, endeavors which would like to help people to go back from where they had to escape. And I think it's the obligation of the international community to ensure safe and secure circumstances for everybody to return.